How's it going guys? Rudolinell here coming back at you with more Python tutorials and threading. And in the last video we took a look at the join function. And that is really, really crazy. You know, it was kind of hard to wrap our minds around it. So this video is gonna be pretty simple and pretty easy. This one is kind of similar to like the, the is alive function video and like the name function video, in that it's a really easy concept. All it is is it's an identification number for each of your threads. But it's interesting, though, that even with the function is dead, even after the, the thread has finished, when the thread is dead, a dead thread, you know, the identification number will still stay. So uh, let's check it out. Uh, let's look at the code that we have so far. I will uh, get rid of this enumerate function, that, that line, and we get our 300 and 600. And what if I were to print out our thread dot ident? And that ident is a variable referring to its identification number. If I run this, you can see that it's 1399 blah blah blah. It's never a zero number, it's always non zero. And you can see that it got a little messed up between our, uh, our first couple of functions here. What if I run that uh, before we actually started the function, the thread? Okay, now there's none because it hasn't been started. But once it's been started, you know that it's there. And if I were to print that out after the function has, after the thread is finished, after the thread is dead, it's the exact same number. You can see it over there. Those two are equal. They're the exact same number. And this goes as well for our next thread. Print our next thread dot ident. And put this one after. You can see we get one three blah blah blah. That's the first one, and all that. They're uh, they're different. I'm thinking. Where do I see the difference? Let's run it one more time. I thread our next thread. I wonder because they're joined together whether or not they are different. Let's run this with two different things. Yeah, once they're joined together, they're considered to be one thread. That's really interesting. Okay, but once we remove that join statement. They are two different threads, but once we have in that join statement, they're still considered to be one thread. Interesting, right? All right. But the point is, each thread has an identification number. <clears throat> Those are equal. Those aren't equal. Those aren't equal. And those are equal. Hmm. Okay. Well, you guys know this is very, very curious. Threads are interesting. <laughs> and a lot of the time, I'm not going to be able to explain exactly what it's all doing. But I do want to get across to you the idea and the concept that each thread has an identification number. And you can access that by the variable name ident as part of the thread's object. Okay. I'm all done now. <laughs> I'm going to let you guys try and figure this out on your own. Because I'm done. I quit. I rage quit. <laughs>